Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most interesting handheld gaming devices that we've seen in a very long time. This is coming to us from a company called Peak Dude that's actually been around for a long time doing wireless MM wave technology, be it dongles that transmit wireless HDMI signals all the way up to 4K with zero latency to many different devices. And what they've come up with here is actually really awesome. We've got a 7 inch 1080p display. As you can see, we've got these built in controllers. Well, they are detachable. I've got my specs listed in the top left hand corner with Afterburner. We've got that i9-13900K and an RTX 3080 Ti. So this handheld here doesn't have its own real CPU that we'd see in, you know, ARM based handhelds or even x86 based handhelds. This is actually using 60 gigahertz MM wave technology, which is capable of sending 3.96 gigabits of information. And obviously we're using display information here. So basically, I've got the dongle that comes along with this handheld plugged into my main gaming PC's GPU, and in turn, it's transmitting the video signal to the handheld, and this will work up to 100 feet away with a clear line of sight. Personally, I've been able to test this up to around 57 feet in my office, and it works absolutely amazingly at that distance. And when it's set up like this, I don't notice any latency whatsoever. I mean, this is way faster than Wi-Fi or Bluetooth would be, and the technology has been around for a little while. In the past on the channel, we actually tested a device that would plug into your Android phone and kind of transmit to your TV using MM Wave technology. And back then, about two years ago, it worked amazingly. But like I mentioned, Peak Do has been doing this for a long time. And if you head over to their website, you'll see all of the products that they offer. You can also check out the reviews on Amazon for some of the other products they sell using the same technology. And overall, I mean, it's very, very positive. Yeah, I really do think that this handheld is pretty cool. And by the way, I've actually had this in my possession for the last two months. I wasn't able to make a video on it because they wanted to wait till their Kickstarter was live, but I've kind of been really, really itching to get this out of the way. This handheld here is using 60 gigahertz MM wave or millimeter wave technology, and it offers up to 3.96 gigabits per second. That's the transmission rate that we can go. It can do up to 4K, but with this, we've got a 1080p screen, and it's capable of delivering lossless and uncompressed video up to 100 feet away with no lag whatsoever. Now, like I mentioned, I've been messing around with this for a little while, and I was a little skeptical at first, but you know, messing around with this connected to one of my PCs, I don't notice any kind of lag whatsoever, and I'm getting a crystal clear 1080p signal sent over to this handheld. And as you can see, it's very reminiscent of a Nintendo Switch. In fact, the controllers here are third-party Joy-Cons. They will connect to your PC over Bluetooth, and it does come with a dongle here. That way we can get both of them connected up really easily. And my PC actually detects this as an Xbox controller, so I haven't run into any kind of controller compatibility issues with Steam, Epic, Game Pass, and even Uplay. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. All of my games see it as an Xbox controller. So there's really no configuration needed when it comes to the controllers. Now the heart of this whole system here is their MM Wave HDMI dongle. Basically, this is going to plug into our video source, be it a PC, an Xbox, a PS5, Really, anything that has HDMI out, this will work with, and it's going to send the HDMI signal to our handheld using that 60 gigahertz MM Wave technology. And the handheld portion itself does have that MM Wave receiver built in, plus we've got an 8000 milliamp hour battery with PD fast charging, a 7 inch 1080p display, built in stereo speakers, and up top we've actually got mini HDMI, we've also got USB Type-C video in, and our USB Type-C for charging the internal battery up. Over here, we've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack so we can plug some headphones into this thing. And we've got our OSD control right here. We can adjust the brightness, volume, we can fully adjust the color gamut, and it does support HDR. They've also integrated the heatsink because this MM Wave receiver can get quite warm. And real quick, I wanted to give you a rundown on setting this up. I mean, it's very simple to do. I've got my gaming PC here. And uh, basically, we're going to plug this right into our video out. This just happens to have an RTX 3080 Ti. We can go directly to the HDMI port, but they do have kind of a little antenna window here, little black box right there on the dongle itself. So they do include a couple 90 degree HDMI adapters. That way we can kind of face that antenna towards wherever we're going to be playing our game at. And once we have that plugged into HDMI, we also need to power the dongle. They do include a USB Type-C cable. This is one that I actually had to make it a little bit cleaner, but I've just plugged right into some power here. 
So the video signal is going to be sent to the handheld itself. And obviously for the controllers, we can actually connect over Bluetooth that we have built into the PC, or we can use the dongle they've included. Personally, I prefer using that dongle because like I mentioned, it makes these show up as an Xbox controller. But now, as you can see, we've got a wireless video signal being sent from the PC to the handheld. And again, this technology can transmit at up to 3.96 gigabits per second, which is plenty for 1080p. Even 4K video is fine over something like this. And we have zero lag or zero latency when it comes to the video signal being sent from the PC. Now, there is one thing I would love to see changed in a later revision, and that would be adding a touch screen to this unit here. Unfortunately, they're using a non-touch display here, but you know, if you wanted to to control the whole operating system from the controllers, you can install a third party application to kind of turn these into a mouse, or you just use a launcher like Steam. You could go with big picture mode, or you could opt in for the latest beta, which gives us the same kind of UI we have with the Steam Deck. This is known as Gamepad UI. And since these controllers are now being detected as an Xbox controller, we can navigate Steam no problem at all, whether you want to use Big Picture or the Gamepad UI. So right here, streaming directly from my PC, not a problem at all to get through my game collection here. I can go to the store and I can launch games directly from here. And once I shut them down, it'll bring us right back to Gamepad UI. But overall, this has actually been working great. And again, there are third-party applications out there that you can install on your Windows machine that will allow mouse input from a controller. So you could fully navigate the Windows operating system directly from the controller. But personally, I would rather use a front end like Steam. You could go with LaunchBox. I mean, there are several out there that you can install for free. So right now, the way I've got everything set up, my gaming PC is about 22 feet away from me. That's kind of just a rough estimate there, but I have tested this up to 57 feet away. And unfortunately, this doesn't work well through walls. So if you do have a wall in the way, it's gonna interfere with the signal. But one solution that I've actually been thinking about is just kind of an HDMI extension cable. That way we could run this up a little bit and have it kind of up above everything. That way it'll hit all the way through the room you're in. And uh, I think that would actually work out pretty good. And if you've got a long enough cable, you could actually run this around the wall. Therefore, you don't have to move anything around. So I've personally been testing all kinds of games on this handheld. And you know, the hardware that I have this streaming from is definitely going to handle basically anything that I want to throw at it, especially at 1080p. From shooters to fighters and racing games. And you know, some of my favorite games to play are racing games. So the next thing I wanted to show off was a little Forza Horizon 5. So this is totally different from streaming over Wi-Fi or streaming from a cloud service. Now, using a cloud service with a racing game like this does introduce a lot of latency. So, you know, coming up on a corner real fast, you're definitely going to miss it every once in a while, especially using xCloud. But I've been playing a lot of racing games on this. And again, the latency is so minimal, I don't even notice it. Now, they claim zero lag. And for real, I mean, while playing it, you're going to get zero lag. But when it comes down to the MM Wave technology, specifically 60 gigahertz, it's less than 2.5 milliseconds for that transmission rate to reach over here up to 100 feet away. And this is coming in with less latency than Bluetooth. So, I mean, really, if you do experience any lag with this, it's probably going to be input lag, given that we are connected to the PC with these third party Joy Cons using a Bluetooth adapter. And speaking of Joy-Cons, you know, if you wanted to use first party real Nintendo Joy-Cons, they'll slide right down in here and lock down. With these, we can connect them to Steam. And uh, yeah, I mean, they fit right in here just fine. So if you've already got some nice Joy-Cons that you're used to using, you can just slide them right down inside of this handheld. And by the way, the Switch accessories like cases and things do fit this device quite well. And since the video signal is just working directly over HDMI and doesn't require any special apps, we can use this with any console or basically any device that supports video over HDMI. The only thing that's not going to work with your Xbox without a third party dongle is going to be the Joy Cons. But I believe there is a company out there that makes a dongle that allows you to use these controllers on your Xbox or your PlayStation. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with anything like that. We just get the Bluetooth adapter for the PC. So in order to play your Xbox or PlayStation, at least at the time of getting one of these without an extra adapter, is to use the PlayStation or Xbox controller. But we've got a wireless display here that works great with these devices. And by the way, if you haven't played Goat Simulator 3, I highly recommend it. Especially four player split screen, absolutely amazing. 
And overall, I've personally been having a great time with this handheld. I know it's a little niche given that we have a lot of other handhelds on the market, but if you've already got hardware that's ready to go, this is actually a great little option just to stream directly to it, and you don't have to worry about that latency that you'd get over Wi-Fi. Now, if there's anything else you want to see tested with this device, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning a little more, they are running their Kickstarter right now. I'll leave some links in the description. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.